Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I'm going to talk about uh, population genetics and about equilibrium allele frequency, how to find this number. And here is a problem, if particular locus mutates from dominant Z to recessive Z at the rate 3 multiplied by 10 raised minus 6 and from uh, recessive Z to dominant Z at the rate 6 multiplied by 10 raised uh, minus 8 what is the equilibrium allele frequency of the dominant allele Z in an infinitely large population with no selection or migration. And uh, if you feel that you can solve this problem, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own first, and when you would be ready, you can run video again, and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. In order to solve this problem, everything you have to know uh, this formula. So equilibrium allele frequency or P would equal to V divided by mu plus V. And now uh, let's uh, analyze our data in this formula. An answer should be less than 1 because uh, 1 equal to 100% and um, our equilibrium should be less than 1%. So if we have two alleles here, capital Z and small z, both these alleles in the gene pool should make less than uh, 100%. So together they should make 100%, but one of uh, these two should make less than 100%. So our answer here should be uh, less than 1%. So, in order to get an answer that is less than 1, we have to divide smaller number by bigger number, and not vice versa. If we put a bigger number here and smaller number here, so our answer would be uh, more than 1. So, uh, let's compare these two numbers, and uh, as you see, this number is smaller, so this goes here on top, and... Let's uh, rewrite this formula in using real numbers. So P would equal to 6 multiplied by 10 raised minus 8 divided by mu. And this is going to be 3 multiplied by 10 raised minus 6 plus V, that is 6 multiplied by 10 raised minus 8. Also, I want you to uh, pay attention to which direction uh, our uh, mutation uh, rate goes. So, this number is greater, and we see that uh, this is from dominant Z to recessive Z. So, mu stands for the forward uh, mutation from uh, dominant z to small z. So that means that uh, v would stand for the reverse reaction or reverse mutation and uh, this is going to be from uh, small z to dominant z. From small z to dominant z. So uh, because this number is greater than this number, at the end we should have uh, more small or recessive Z alleles in our gene pool than dominant alleles capital Z. So uh, now we just need to use a calculator and find our answer and our answer would be equal to 0. Point zero one nine six and this is frequency of the dominant allele z and uh, if you need an answer in percentage form you just have to multiply this number by 100 and uh, if you need an answer if you want to know um, the frequency of the small z allele you just have to subtract from one this number and you would know the frequency of the recessive allele z. And you may also wonder why in our calculations there is no 
initial frequency of the dominant and recessive Z alleles in the gene pool. And here is a picture that um, will explain uh, why we don't need this information. For example, initial frequency of the dominant allele capital Z was uh, represented with this bar and recessive allele Z were represented with this bar so this is small z and vice versa we may have situation when we had uh, a lot of dominant allele z initially and a little bit of the recessive allele z but, but if we give enough time our both populations would end up with the same frequency and the same um, equilibrium for both populations no matter what the initial frequency were so they would end up with dominant allele z to be here on this side and small allele z would prevail so initial frequency of the alleles doesn't affect our calculation so that's why we don't have these numbers in our calculations and everything you have to know in order to solve uh, such problems this formula and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye